Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, today let's solve this problem. Minimum equal sum of two arrays after replacing zeros. As I always say, for better experience you can switch to the playback speeds. And first let's understand the question, then we will see the approach. Then high level of coding and the tens, then we will see the time complexity. I felt, I felt the question was a bit tricky and there are like so many edge scenarios and so many edge cases. I felt, I will try my best to explain you in a best possible way. But if you still you are not able to understand it, you can take few examples and you can try with this approach. Then definitely you are gonna understand it. So first we will understand the question. You are given two arrays, number one and number two, consisting of positive integers. You have to replace all the zeros in both arrays with strictly positive integers such that some of the elements of both arrays should be equal. He is saying that he will give two arrays, number one and number two. And we need to replace all the zeros with strictly positive integers. We should definitely, this is the must condition, we should definitely replace zeros with a strictly positive integer. And we should replace in such a way that the both arrays sum should be equal we need to return the minimum equal sum you can opt it so i think you understand understood this question so let's see uh, let's see uh, we will take the sum and then we will take the sum two and then we will count number of zeros then we will count the number of zeros in the uh, in this in this number of in nums two and then we will check sum one is greater than sum two c1 is greater than c2 sum 1 is greater than sum 2 and c1 is less than c2 yeah we will we can write this scenarios and less than ka kya hua less than ka we can swap it right if if s1 is less than s2 then i will swap s1 comma s2 and we will swap c1 and c2 so that in this scenario only this will be get covered so i thought of writing this but i felt very complex because we we are getting the equal scenarios and we need to handle like too many complexities and then i thought then i thought uh, why can't we add first let's make it uh, uh, first let's make it possible first let's make it possible so what i thought is that now this is my sum one and this is my sum two for sum one i have added the c1 because this is my uh, answer this can be my answer and this also can be my answer because i have replaced all the zeros with all the ones I have replaced. He is saying that positive integer, so I have taken the minimum. Like, let's take uh, one, one and I have replaced it. Now, now I have replaced it and now I am checking. S1 is not equal to S2. If both are not equal and C1 and C2 is equal to 0. C1, C2 0 hai and S1 is 2 equal nahi hai, then definitely I will say that it's not possible. I will return minus 1. Because C1, C2 0 hai, uh, there is no there is no zeros to make the array equal so i will return minus 1 now s1 and s2 not equal and c2 0 now you know the, the like don't miss this we are swapping it you can think about like s1 is less than s2 but in, in every scenario we are doing s1 is always greater than s2 this remember in mind keep in mind that s1 is always greater than s2 because we are swapping it we are swapping it we uh, we can do without swapping but we will get to too many scenarios and like it will become more more complicated and if s1 is not equal to s2 and c2 is equal to 0 if s1 is not equal to c2 is equal to 0 then definitely you can't go because now if you see this scenario like we have 3 5 and we have 4 we have this this is c1 is equal to 1 then c2 is equal to 0 there is no zeros here then how how can you match with nums 1 you can definitely not match so i will return minus 1 okay we got it now s1 is not equals to s2 and c2 is not equals to 0 okay this scenario is left we will check okay s1 is not equals to s2 and c2 is not equals to 0 okay and if it is if you see if you see let's take this example and i have made it s1 is equal to 6 c2 c1 and s2 11 c2 is equal to 1 my s1 will be reached to 8 because we are replacing all zeros with ones here we are replacing zeros with one now s1 is less than s2 this is our scenario we have swapped it and we have swapped c2 and c1 as well c2 and c1 now now if you see we have c2 we have replaced all the values and we got s1 as my maximum and c2 i have replaced with all ones 
can we replace once with uh, anything now now i want num 4 the difference is 4 so i want here uh, here we have incremented 1 c2 is this this one right so c2 is 1 and the we have replaced it so here we will get 1 now we have like 12 8 this is my s1 this is my s2 and this c1 c2 my c1 is 1 and c2 is 2 my c1 is 1 my c1 is 1 and my c2 is 2 now to make 8 equals to 12 can we make uh, changes is yes, definitely you can add 4 because we have c2 equals to 2 if you if you see here if you see here here we have two values to change we have changed it to 1 1 now what we can do we can change this one and now if you add it it will be 7 and i can make it 5 i can make it if i make it 5 my values are equal yeah definitely it is equal okay i got this now what will be my maximum then definitely it is this one right how 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 it will be this one now if you observe it now now if you observe it if you, this is s2 this is c2 and this is c1 and this is s1 and when you are adding it when you are adding you are reaching to 12 the maximum i can reach to 12 by adding s1 plus c1 and h2 plus c2 can be adjusted can definitely be adjusted to 12 yes because with c2 i have replaced everything with 1 everything one now this one can be changed to any integer to satisfy this condition to satisfy this condition so definitely my answer will be s1 which is my maximum so i think you understood it this was bit uh, complex and you can like rewatch the video like rewatch from the this uh, this part like where i started explaining this scenario to understand more clearly and then we will see the now we will see the code the code is pretty easy we are calculating s1 c1 s2 and c2 if s2 is greater than s1 then we are swapping it then there are two scenarios s1 not equals to e, s2 and c1 and c2 are zero we are returning minus 1 this scenario mm, this scenario and we are writing this scenario as well this one and we are returning s1 you know like why s1 is my maximum and here my time complex time complexity will be order of n my space complexity will be it's like we did, did not use any extra space so it will be order of one i think you understood this solution and if you understand this please please do like and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching